Hello and welcome to another Atlas episode. But this one is with a twist. I don't know. I actually I do not happen. So I've already recorded the video, and in the background you're seeing I was talking, but for some reason the audio didn't record from my microphone. Well, actually, I know the reason. <laughs> Funny enough, the reason was my 18-month-old nephew was on my lap and he was banging on the keyboard, and he somehow went into shadow play and uh, disabled the microphone recording or something. I don't know. So I'm going to sit here and I'm going to try and talk to you about what's happening. I, I don't know. Hopefully it's all right. I, I, I'm sorry. But anyway, so what we're building now is I decided that today I wanted to build the church. A big church in the town because, you know, this day and age that this game is set and my town is kind of based on there was churches in every town. So we're going to make it all out of stone, as you can see, because all churches in the area from the photos I saw were made out of stone. And what I decided to do first was build the uh, like the, these corner bits that I'm building, they're actually going to be like the little towers that go up the side, I think. Yeah, that's what I did. And then now what I'm placing is windows. This is really weird. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I didn't want to scrap this episode because it actually, the church comes out looking pretty good in my opinion. And um, I didn't just want to do another episode and go, oh, look, there's a church. I kind of wanted to show you. A bit what I was doing so that's this is where we're at so here I am I can't remember what I was doing I'm just building the tower I suppose pretty obvious I don't know why I'm narrating a play-by-play -play to you uh, it is what it is you know what it is I'm building I don't know we I decided to put windows here I'm gonna use these door frames as windows and then put like another window on top of it here which I kind of like and I'm probably going on about how, oh, it's annoying that there's no glass doors in this game, or glass windows, etc, etc. But I'll just have to deal with it. I don't want to do an overload. What am I doing? Come on. Okay, then I've run in here to get something. I don't remember what it was. More stuff. What did I need? Glass. Okay, yeah, so here I'm going, oh, that's right, the AA mod has glass in it. And so does this soaps guy so I went with the wooden glass doors but I needed crystal for that and I was like I don't have any crystal see check the resource chest no crystal like, no there's no crystal what I don't know is actually in the smithy in the modern smithy up against that wall there's actually like 500 crystals um, so that was embarrassing probably didn't have to tell you about that but I did anyway so now what I'm doing is replacing that that's not it doesn't have to be there and then I'm running back over here for some reason. I, I really can't remember what I, the exact things I did. I think I needed a roof. Was it a roof? Yeah. I wanted some stone roofs, which I needed metal. And luckily, there's tons of metal over here. And then I throw some out. Yes, I did. Awesome. Run over. Pick it up. And put it in. Okay. Uh, this. <laughs> I know I've already said it, but I feel so weird doing this overlay thing but I, th I feel like it's kind of important so uh, what I'm doing here is I'm trying to make like a archway type thing for the doorway and I was and I was thinking about it I think this looked good I was quite happy with this I was gonna build this up that's all right so I went to build this up and I was like yeah that kind of looks all right but then there's gonna be like this giant gap in the middle so then I decide, you know what, let's just make the thing, the triangle thing, meet up in a point. And then I put a window, I think. Are you, did I hear yeah, windows? Why not? Looks like a mouth. <laughs> it's a little guppy, smiley face, or oh, frowny face or something. I don't know. Okay, let me do that. There's not really much to talk about because I don't remember what I was saying as I was building. I was just kind of rambling on. I tried to build, put one on top. But yeah. So I use the elephant to get closer. But you know, I'm just describing what you can see on camera. <laughs> right. So I apologise if this isn't going to be the greatest episode in the world. But I promise you, the church does end up looking pretty good. 
So if you like it, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and all that stuff. And, you know, make fun of me for buggering up the old air recording and then this stupid over... Uh, what do you call this where you talk over a video? I don't know. Commentary? Type track? I don't know what I'm doing now. I'm just standing on the back of a giraffe staring at things. Probably going on about how I've got to build it. up. Oh, there you go. And now we've got the main part of the building done. Staring at an elephant's butt. No. But yeah, I'm probably saying how I don't like how short the points are on the roof, but there's nothing I can do about it. They don't make longer points. So I just gotta do what the game will let me do. You come in here, you've got this big open area. And now I think I'm talking about how I would have liked to have put pillars or something um, along that stone wall to hide that little jagged edge bit. That looks like a Lego block connector. Oh, and this is where I decided to build a a stand-in door, a makeshift door, I suppose. And I go with like this kind of design. And actually, I was quite happy with it in the end. I kind of, I kind of felt like it sort of worked. I mean, it's not perfect, not a hundred percent, but you know what? It does the job, sort of. I mean, it's not going to keep anyone out because you can't close it. Oh, I placed the walls the wrong way. There, that's better. It's placed the right way now. I was worried I put that the wrong way down for a second, but no, it was right. I'm like, awesome, that looks amazing. Okay, so what are we doing now? We're just staring at the wall. Let's keep staring. Now we're running at the elephant, now we're turning back staring at it again. I'm sure I'm saying stuff that was important at the time. I just can't remember. So... I think I'm talking about how I ran out of roofs or something. I need to get more roofs to feel it finish off the thing. And I'm like, oh, did I build the roofs? Did I or did I not? And I came over here and then I realized, yes, I did. I already built them. So you built a hundred of them. So I was like, okay, awesome. No worries. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and put the roof together or something. I think I said something along that line. Did I? No. Now this is where we, where I talk about my, I took like a few ideas I had for the wall. Because I wanted a wall to go around. And this is where I'm saying, oh the pillar, I wanted it to go on the edge, so to hide that little locky Lego bit. And I was like, I kind of want to do a railing up the top here with a wall down the bottom, how's that look? I'm not very happy with it. I wasn't, I didn't like it. The design I ended up with coming up with is much better. Which was... Sort of, I don't think it was this one. It was sort of like this one though. Now I'm like, yeah, this is going to be very expensive. Three walls for each spot. And I'm like, I kind of like it, but I'm not too sure. And blah, blah, blah. Maybe if I put a doorway here. And another doorway. I think I put another one in that spot there. Yep. And then I'm like, yeah, okay, let's see how the wall would look if I finish off a section of it. So that's what I do. Now I'm like, I don't know, I don't really like how tall the wall is. I'm not too sure. Uh, no, nah, I'm not happy with it, so I decided to take the top layer off. Couldn't take that first one off because that already cemented itself. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm talking about, oh uh, yeah, maybe I'll do this design, blah blah blah. Maybe what I'll do as well is, is this where I say it? Where I put, where I put a full solid wall, wall every now and then. Yeah. So I'm like, hey, maybe if I put like one solid wall every now and then, that will look better. So I, I test it out and I put it down. Down the little ceiling. I'm like, yeah, I kind of like that idea. I feel like that'll work nicely. Blah, blah, blah. Actually, you know what? I think it'd probably look better if it was in the corner. And then I'm like, wait, what? Why was there an unconscious bird there? Hold on. And I'm like, the only way there could be an unconscious bird is if they're was a snake to put it to sleep. So where is the snake? I can't see any snake. 
And it's bad news if there's a snake in here because that means it can get to my animals. But I can't find the snake. So who put the sleepy sleepy bird to sleep? Huh? Can anyone see a sleepy a sleepy sleepy snaky thingy my bob? No? I can't. <laughs> oh man, I can't get over how dumb this is. Me having to do commentary over gameplay. It's a lot easier to do it while you're playing. I would have thought, like... Yeah, anyway. Because I get to stop and collect my thoughts before I start recording. Now I've just got to kind of make it up as I go. So I'm like, yep, yeah, okay, so let's put the corner walls in. Let's do this. Completely ignoring the fact that I am thirsty. Though it is bugging me a little bit. I do notice it. So I'm like, here, let's just quickly put this together. Like, real nice. Yep, like that. No, I, that was the wrong way. That happens a lot while building and it's very annoying. See? <laughs> and the worst thing is, I don't get it. The, the walls, you can't pick it up while you have a blue silhouette out. But with like, floors and roofs and stuff like that, you can. And ceilings, I don't know why, it's just with the walls. You can't pick it up unless you get rid of the silhouette. Okay, so what am I doing now? I don't know. Just looking at things. Trying to figure things out. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm pro. I'm sure. I'm pro. I'm sa pro. I'm sure. I'm saying something amazing and enlightening right now. I think I'm talking about how I want the glass windows and how good they would probably look. Okay, now I'm like, so I've come back to the ship to get some food. Get some food here, and I'm gonna eat the orange. And I'm going on about how I'm back at the ship because one to get food and two I want to see if I've got some crystal in here. I'm like, oh yep, there's crystal, but it's only four. Got more. Oh, yep, Herc me. That's that's crystal. That's awesome. So I think now I'm going. Oh, I need to get some yellow food. Have we got yellow? I'm like, oh yeah, sweet. I got some yellow. Perfect. That works out well. So I eat all the yellow. As we do. Okay. Awesome. It's raining so I don't have to worry about water. I don't make the jump properly and fall a lot shallower than I thought. And I'm like, oh, it's getting dark. Better turn the gamma up. And then I'm like, oh, yay. Rain and fog. Perfect conditions for recording a YouTube video. And you know what? I stand by that statement. It truly, truly is. In opposite land, it is very, it's going to make it very difficult for you guys to see, I think. Hopefully the gamma helps. I've had a few comments saying the gamma does definitely make it better. But yeah. So here we are running through the town. I think I actually said, here we go, let's run through the alleyways. I think I said something along that line. So we're back here. I think this is where I go and make... I don't know what I'm looking at. I'm go I go over here and I go to the soaps. Yep. I put the crystal in. Well, I try to make it before I put the crystal in, then I put the crystal in. I make one just to see what it looks like. And I'm like, hmm, what's this look like? So I put it in here. And I'm like, yeah, okay, yeah, I kind of like that. Yeah, the little thing. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, that's perfect. I think that'll do great. And the reason I think that looks great is because uh, if you look at old church, uh, buildings, or even new church buildings for that matter, uh, they all have like that ornate glass type thing, and I feel like that kind of, that this wooden door would kind of, glass door, sorry, would kind of give that feeling off. So now I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm sure there was something important. Oh, I was talking about how I want to put some plants around there because it looks kind of dull and drab with all the grey stone. And now I'm just like, so what tree should I use? What tree is not too big? The answer, spoiler, is all the trees are a bit too big. This one I actually got lucky with. This one's actually not too bad. Still a bit too big, a bit bigger than I wanted. But the others are just even worse. You'll actually see them because I do try to put them down. Um, just to see what they're like. I put that down and I'm happy with it. I'm like, yeah, that, that should look cool. Break up the grey of the area a bit, give it a bit of colour, give it a bit of life. You know, pick up the tree, that's awesome. 
Oh, I'm getting a headache doing this. So now we go back to make some more trees. Is that what I'm doing? I don't remember. Let's have a look. Uh, trees. Yep, I think this might be where I try a few different other trees as well. Or do I just grab the four poplar trees or something? Six. Yeah. Okay. Uh, try another tree. Just out of curiosity, I gotta put it down and I'm like, nope, that tree is no good, it's a double tree. It won't look good in my design, so I just chuck it back in there to forever forget about, and then I'm like, hmm, any other trees? And uh, no, nah. blue pine, no, nah, that's probably too big. A cypress tree? I think that's a snow tree. I remember saying that. So I build it anyway. Then I select it. I go, yeah, well that's too big anyway, doesn't matter. And then I place it and I'm like, yep, snow tree. I can't get away with a snow tree inside a really warm biome, biome as this. It does not make sense. How would there be snow here? I said something along those lines. Let's have a look. So is now when I'm playing with the, I think now I play with the, all the, some other trees. Yes, I'm reading. I gotta just gotta comment on my video. Okay. Anyway, that was a comment. Who was that comment by? I, I feel rude not just saying oh, that was a comment. There was a comment from Mozo Tice. I hope I said that right. Saying I think it's in advanced settings, single player, advanced. Increase platform structure limit. It's talking about how he would, would like to see me go ham on a galleon build. Uh, maybe that's right. I'll try that out after after I've done this, or <laughs> I'll have to give that a look. Thank you for that advice. I appreciate it. Um. Anyway, what am I doing now? I'm placing trees. Oh, I'm trying to line the trees up. That's all right. I'm like, I don't want you inside the house, inside the building. How much inside are you? Then I run in here and I'm like, uh, just a tad. I'm fine with that. Quite happy with that to be like that. Yep, it looks good. It definitely gives it more greenery. Well, because they are green trees. It would be weird if they didn't. Now I run back here. I think I'd make some plants, do I? Oh no, so I'm, I'm going to try some more trees apparently. That's way too big, I say. Uh, I'm going to try a few cork. Do you want to guess what that one is? Or you want to guess this, about these two? You want to, How many of these do you think weren't too big? Let's have a look here, shall we? So, Italian tree. Too big. Kinda looks cool, but not for what I'm doing. Way too big, don't even bother. Floral tree, too big, yep. All of them, too big. Almost demolish it again. Put all of that back. I'm um, like, maybe I should make some more poplar trees. I think I make an orange tree as well. A Judas tree. And an orange tree. And I remember the orange tree, and I remember going, I've got a or real orange tree in my life. This thing better not be big, because that makes no sense if an orange tree would be large. Like, they're decent size, and I'm like, nope, that's too big. There isn't, I've never seen an orange tree that big. And I stand by that, I've never seen one that big and that high off the ground for the branches. So I'm like, here, I place it down to see what it looks like. I'm like, yeah, I've never seen an orange tree that big, and then I'm like, wait a minute. There's no bloody oranges on this thing. But where are the oranges? That's not an orange tree. How can you call that an orange tree without any oranges? And I'm like, maybe it didn't mean that it was an orange tree. Maybe it was just a tree that was the color orange or something. I don't know. My brain was hurting. My brain's currently hurting again as well. Oh, I'm building some plants. That's right. I needed, was it fiber I ran out of? Yeah, fiber. So we need 50,000 fiber. Yes, I have a lot of fiber, apparently. Those little minions I have outside working the rocks and the trees, they're doing a good job. 
Okay, so what am I trying? I'm trying to think what should we use. So I'm like, mm, we'll grab a few birch trees. Maybe some cliff bushes. And I think I grabbed the Dorothy. Yeah, the Dorothy flowers. There we go. So I grab those. Um, I don't know why I'm back in the trees. I don't remember why I came back here. Poplars. I think I'm trying to make more poplar trees. If I remember correctly. There they are. Two. Okay. And now I'm going to go place them. No, I placed down the birch trees. Actually, I wanted to see what this one looks like. And I'm like, oh yeah, that looks pretty cool. I get that. Now how do I pick this thing back up? So I spend the next couple of minutes trying to pick this thing up. Because I can't find the hitbox on the damn thing. Uh, uh, yep, yep, yep. And there we go. There we have it. Pick it up. Boom. So I decide to place a few of them down. No, I want to do the cliff board straight away. Okay, so I put these in the corners, I think. One there, and I think I put it. Yep, I put another one over here. Like so. Then what do I do now? Ah, uh, these guys. I put these in the corners of the doorway. Then I think. Did I put down some birch bushes down here? No. No, I didn't. I don't think I did. I can't remember. I went with some Dorothy flowers. No. Birch. Come on. I knew I put some down at some point. There we go. I just placed these randomly. Yeah, there was no real rhyme or reason to the way I placed them. Just kind of put them down. Then I went over here. Kind of did the same thing. Put the trees first. I've got music in the background of my video. I always have music in the background of the video, but you can barely hear it or notice it. I don't know, let me know if you think I should turn the volume up a little bit on it in, in my normal videos. Just a little bit. I don't want it too loud because I don't, I hate it when people make videos on YouTube where all where the volume of the music is almost or completely overpowering the thing. But now I'm like, here we are. Look at this beautiful building with all the glass windows in. The windows didn't fit in the window thing. There was no glass window in the window thing, and I was checking, I don't know what I was doing, checking the gamma? Yeah. Let's bring the gamma back to normal. But the gamma was already at normal. And I was like, look, I put dirt underneath the flowers. And, uh, the flowers? The flowers. And the plants. Because, you know, since when do trees grow on trees and stuff? They can't grow on concrete. That makes no sense. You need to have dirt. So I used the path. There's like a footpath or something mod part of another one, I don't know. I used them to put that down there, make it all look nice. And then here I did the same thing, brick roads, just to make it the floor look different to the outside. And I'm like, oh, I was going to decorate the inside, I was going to put down um, chairs and stuff, but I, I didn't see the point because I'm never really going to set foot in here again. I'll probably put some lights in at a later stage just so it lights up the town, like the rest of the town. Um, but yeah, I'm like, well that's it, blah blah blah, I hope you enjoyed it, but that's going to be it for this episode guys, I hope you enjoyed it, if you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, I'll just double check if there's actually windows, there is glass wooden window doors, I'm like, I should probably make those, do I have any crystal, I don't have any crystal, um, I definitely don't have any in there, I'm like, that's alright, I'll do that off camera or something in between now and the next episode. So if you like the episode, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I know I've already said it, but that was part of the video. This is me actually saying it as part of the commentary. And as always, have a good one, and I'll see you all next time. Bye! And then now I do my little ramble on about something that I have to go do or something that's about to happen. I don't know what it is. Anyway.